Hello and uh, good afternoon everyone. Oh, it is me, your instructor, uh, Sir Jonathan Mendea. So today, I will be uh, uh, making a demonstration on our week 2 to week 3 uh, lesson. So I hope all of you uh, already answered the uh, assessment 1 for week 1 activity. And before I upload the uh, uh, assessment 2 for week 2 and assessment 3 for week 3 lesson. So uh, let's try to clarify things first regarding our uh, lesson 2 and 3. No, uh, so that uh, everybody could uh, grasp uh, what would be the um, uh, output of the said activity. Okay, so let's start with uh, the definition of your number conversion or binary system conversion. Uh, I mean, uh, number system conversion. Okay, so when we say uh, compu a computer number system, so this is a technique to represent numbers in computer architecture. So in a computer, so there are uh, way back before on our lesson number one it mentioned there the so-called uh, machine language the machine language is uh, composed of a binary uh, number system which is uh, uh, only uh, caters one and zero so for the boolean in programming we call it as uh, yes or no or true or false so that was before so since the uh, technology is evolving and nowadays we uh, we have right now four uh, different kinds of number system on our computer system so the first one is the uh, decimal which is we are using on our uh, daily uh, mathematical uh, uh, problem solving no? composed of 0 to 1 the second is the binary, which is composed of 1 and 0. The octal, no, which is composed from 0 to 7. And the last one will be the hexadecimal, which is composed of uh, from 16. No, 16 uh, different, no, from 0 to uh, 9, then from A to F. No? So that is the uh, hexadecimal. Uh, value okay so uh, i will not uh, make it uh, long so when we say decimal it's composed of 0 to 9 and you know it already okay so for example you have the decimal value of 1 2 3 4 so cons uh, this dig uh, this four digits units position is in 3 tens position 2 in the uh, 3 in the tens position 2 in the hundreds position, 1 in the thousands position, I mean, I mean, from 3 tens position, 2 hundreds position, and uh, 1 is the thousand position. So, from here, thousand, hundred, tens, and we we'll get here the ones. So, that's why we have here times 1. So, if we try to uh, elaborate more, so since uh, um, decimal, uh, number system is has a specific power of base 10 so that means base 10 sya. okay so that's why we have here one the position of tens i mean thousands times three so that means there have uh, three zeros times three then two then one and lastly so since we have value so we have zero so among one certain any value i put it on the uh, last position is the uh, same value will be uh, uh, will be uh, get okay, from the uh, equation okay so that's why we have one times this one is 1200 then we have 30 okay because 3 times 10 is 30 then since we're not a value so therefore we will just only copy the 4 so you have the value of 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1,234. So that is for the uh, decimal value. 
na I mean decimal number system. Now, as an IT professional and practitioners, you need to understand the logical structures of the number uh, system which are used frequently in computer systems or computer systems. Okay, so what we are going to tackle first is the binary uh, system. Now, binary, na as I've said, is composed of 1 and 0 or representation of 1 and 0. Or in programming, we call it true or false, either yes or no, on and off. No? So, amon ang ilang mga equivalent. Now, here is an example of the uh, binary number. Okay, I think on your handouts, medyo nag nagdako dang tunyo. So, it's a base 2. Because uh, binary system is a base 2 uh, type of number system. No, base 2 siya. Sila nga multiply by 2 siya. So, for example, we have this 10101. Okay? So, since this is a machine language, no, that is the interpretation of the computer, so we will convert it to decimal number so that the uh, we will understand that this 10101 is equivalent to 21. No? Base 10. Base 10 since... Uh, this is a decimal, so base 10 na siya. So, gin convert na siya from uh, binary to decimal. Okay? So, for example, the first thing you're going to do is to okay, extract all of them into its proper position. Okay? So, you have 1 here. 1 times 2, 4. Because the placement here from the 4, the 3, the second, the 1, and the 0. So, 0 means... Uh, uh, nothing that means uh, all of the uh, value here will be copied na lang already, no? Im immediately okay so 1 to the fourth power then base 2 then we will get 0 okay 3 then 1 or the 2 then 0 or 1 and nothing that means we will just copy the last part Okay, so all of these zeros here, we just copy the last part. Okay, so we have uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, you will get 16. Since e multiply multiplied with 1, all of the numbers that are multiplied by numbers is 1. I mean, uh, same number lang yung Okay, 2 times 2 times 2, 16. So since here is 0, so all the numbers multiplied by numbers is always 0. Then we have 2 times 2, we have 4. Then 0 and then copy the 1. So, automatically, it will become base 10. So, you will add it up. 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. So, that is for the uh, uh, final answer for conversion binary to decimal. Okay? So, that is the conversion. So, you must know the the conversion person how to uh, perform the uh, conversion. Okay? Now, but there is a, another way of uh, solving this instead of going through this table. So you can do it on the other way around. Okay. So I will just open my whiteboard. Okay. Now, so let's try to have those example, uh, the, uh, the uh, binary example again. So the 10101. Zero, one, zero, one. Okay. So let's see if uh, we get same answer also. But another step or another way around to solve it. Okay. So now, the first thing that you're going to do is to uh, copy those the number that uh, the given number. So which is one, uh, zero, one, zero, one. Okay. So since uh, we have this uh, binary value, which is one, zero, one, zero, one. Okay. Anything that uh, starts with the rightmost always has a value of in decimal 1. Okay? So that means this one always have a 1. Provided if it is 1 or 0, it doesn't matter. Basta ang yung placement always just starts sa 1. Okay? Now, since that is base 2, okay, we will try to multiply it times 2. Okay? So that means ang value sa next... 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, multiply it again by 2. So the next 
1 here will be 4. Multiply it again by 2. The next value here will become 8. Then times 2. Then the last part here will be 16. So that means uh, each of the value here or the one here is considered as, no, kung sa binary, parang siya bits, 1 bit, 2 bits, 3 bits, 4 bits, 5 bits. Okay? So I think you remember, you uh, you uh, familiar with the bits, no, na term. Okay? Okay, next yun asang bits, bytes. No? Tapos, bytes, megabytes. After megabytes, gigabytes. After gigabytes, terabytes. Okay? So, gaano lang siya ga-evolve. No? Ga-evolve siya, ga-evolve. Just like sa aton yung mga storage device. So, from bytes siya, from bits, ng bytes siya, tapos ng megabytes, ng terabytes, ah, gigabytes, ng terabytes. Okay? So, later on, may maano lang na siya, may ma-evolve pag sa to another type of uh, value naman siya. No? Basi, later on, may nanobytes na siya, and so on. So, gaibol bang natin technology. So, that means, you need to understand also the structure. Now, so, kung may succeeding ko siyang uh, number here, okay? So, that means, times mo naman sa 2, okay? So, kung may 0, mani siyang uh, next or 1, so, you will uh, multiply it by 2 again, okay? Now, so, para ma tapos tang aton niya equation, so, that means, ang uh, all of the ones contains value. All of the zeros, okay, does not contains value. Okay? So, that means, since ang 2 na placement ng bits wala value, so, crush out mana. Ang 8 ang man. Okay? Now, you try to add all of the remaining na may value. No? Tanan nyo, 1 may value na. So, i-add mo sila. So, 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 1, 21. So, you will get now 21. So, same man sila nga process, pero different lang nga uh, pagkuha. Okay? It's just like a math. Okay? So, I hope you get that. Okay? So, again, uh, base 2 times 2. Okay? Now, the next is the addition. Okay? So, we will stop the lesson here for the addition. Okay? Next naman, may subtraction and multiplication, then uh, division. Okay? So, i-ano ta lang, i-hatok-hatok ta para hindi maglawig inyo pagtanaw. And then, you can start with the uh, activity that we have on uh, week 2 and week 3. So, probably si week 2, amo na ang from addition down to division. And week 3, amo to siya si octal. I conversion of octal to decimal, hexal to decimal, decimal to binary. So, amo lang ito niya sequence sa nga ito mga activity. Sinsara man sa inyong ano, nga module. So, isay sa unta lang kay ang solving the uh, structures of number system is uh, is uh, tedious one. So, if we're not careful, so probably the result will not be the same on our objective. Okay? So, I will stop on the uh, addition. Then, uh, we will proceed. The next lesson naman is for the subtraction and uh, multiplication, division, and and so on. Okay? So, so, we will stop here on the binary addition. Okay? So, the last uh, topic that we have right now is the binary addition. Okay? So, in binary addition, we will uh, need to follow the certain rule. No binary rule. So, 0 plus 0 is 0. Uh, 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. And if with you encounter 1 plus 1, so that means you bring down 0, you carry 1. Okay? So that is if you encounter 2 ones. Okay? So you get the 0, you carry over the 1. Why? Because, for example, we have this 1 plus 1. So take note, this is a binary. So wala na dia sang 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to 9. So, 1 to 0 lang yun. 
pero pwede ito siya makonvert to decimal. Okay? So, we have here 1 and 1. That means addition. So, based on our rule, so you bring down 0, you carry the 1. So, since wala na siya sa even na placement, so you just bring down the 1. So, hindi ni siya ang answer na 10, ha? This is 1, 0. Okay? So, 1, 0, if we try to look at on our manual, okay, I'll just erase first. And then let's just make it 1. Okay? So, 1. So, again, to yung answer natin is 1, carry 1, then bring down 1. So, you got 1, 0. Now, kung itry ito sa liwa sa ating placement, so, starting is 1, times 2, that is 2. So, so as I mentioned before, so, all zeros will be omitted or crushed out. So, the answer here now is 2. So, the answer on this equation is 2. Okay? Pero sa binary, it is called 1, 0. Okay? I hope you understand that. Okay? So, let's try to have uh, this one. Okay. Example number 2. So, we will try to elaborate it on our sketchpad so that you will understand it uh, more uh, deeply. So, we will try to... Okay, number 1. Okay. So, what's our number again? Okay. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Then, below, we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, that's for addition. Okay. Now, to begin, so, we will try to follow the rule of the binary. I mean, the binary rule on addition. So, we have 1 plus 1. So, as I've said, it is equal to 0, but it has a carry of 1. So, since all of them are zeros, wala sang 1, so automatically, it will become 1. Bring down 1 ka na lang. Then, we have here 2 1, so we counter 2 1, so 1 plus 1. Then, it's 0, carry 1. Okay? And then, you bring down again 1, since wala naman siya 1 nga uh, encounter, so therefore, you will just add all of them, then make it 1. So here, 0 plus 1. So very straightforward. Let's make it 1. Then here, no uh, placement of value. Wala na siya sang iba niya process. So you just bring down 1. Okay? So this is now the result. So how do we know that uh, our addition is uh, equal to the decimal? So let's try to convert it first. Okay? So that convert it as a decimal. Tanan. So again, this is 1, this is 2, 4, 8, 16, then we got 32. Okay, ka times 2 ka mo. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 2, 4. Times 2, 8. Times 2, 16. Times 2, 32. Again. So, medyo butangan ta lang sa isang mga times to times 2 na ito na. Okay, so we got here 1, ano? Plus 4, 5. Okay. Plus 32, 5 plus 32 pila, 37. Ayan. So, we have 37. Ganyan naman sa dalong, 1, 4, 16. So, 16 plus 4, 20. Plus 1, 21. So, dapat may equal ang aton niya answer sa binary sa 50. So, ang muling objective ta. Nga dapat ang aring na binary ni may equal sa 58. So, let's try to uh, disseminate the value. 1 times 2. 2 times 2. 4 times 2. 8. Uh, times 2. 16. 
and times two times two thirty two. Yeah. Okay, again, the rule is to cross out the um, numbers. Now, wala some value which is one and four. So you have now sixteen plus thirty two. You got 840, I mean 50, I guess, I mean 48, so array, 48 pa lang. Plus 8, we got how much? 50, 6, and the last one, 2. Plus 2, you got 50, 58. So, ayan na. So, you get now 58. So, ang atoning yung binary, that means, same with our decimal, kung i-convert na siya. Okay. Final answer. So, if you have questions, so you can uh, message me anytime. Now, the last one is, what if, no? what if, if we encounter three sets of uh, binary numbers okay so for example you got how many be ang inyong encounter kasi yung activity may ara mo ha 1 1 tapos encounter 1 0 0 1 then you have uh, let's say 1, 1, 1, 1. So, tap, Ayan. So, matabo na. No? So, very, uh, uh, keen, no? Kung do, ang sado ka uti. Okay? So, ngayon mo unta, i-check ta na, eh. So, i-check ta ang ilang ng mga decimal. Kung pilagid, no? How much will be the, uh, objective, na result para same man ang result sa binary ng addition. Okay? So, let's try to convert it first. So, we got 1 plus 4 is how much? 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 plus 16 is 29. Ayan. naman, 1 plus 8 is 9 then 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 8 is 15 ayan so ang manang aton niya mga decimal ay perform so 9 plus 9 is uh, 18 plus 5 23 okay everyone Ay, 23 pala. Sorry. 23. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. So, we have 53. So, dapat ang result nila 53 man. Okay. Now, paano naman sa binary? So, how do we solve this uh, 3 uh, numbers ng binary into a simple uh, addition? Okay. So, if you encounter uh, 3 bits consecutively, no, provided if how many man na siyang set of numbers, okay? So, uh, remember that you encounter 3 bits, no? Consecutive from the different set of binary number. So, that means, ano siya? Add numbers, no? Mga add numbers siya nga, bits. 1, 2, 3. So, kaya 3 is add numbers. So, automatically, Kung maka-encounter ka 3 consecutive uh, uh, bits no? from the uh, given uh, problem, automatically you bring down 1, carry 1. Okay? So, why? So, when you try to solve it, 1 plus 1, 0, carry 1. Okay? 0 plus 1, 1. Okay? So, ang manang gawa niya. Okay? Plus ang manang 0 ka gawa. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. So, yung ang may carry tanga over kay may pares ng isa. Okay, so that is 3. If you encounter naman uh, even numbers na consecutive, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, pila ka bilog pares niya? 2. Okay? 
carry 1, this is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, again, carry 1. So, wala ko na plus, bring down, 0. So, that means 0, bring down 0, carry 2 over, magdua ka 1. Okay? Di what if po nag 5. 4, 5, ka 1. So, same uh, strategy on 4. So, pero may katapusan siya nga 1. May pare siya nga 2 ka 1, no? 4 ka 1, multi pares pares. That means, ma, carry over ka 2. Tapos, ma, bring down ka 1. Bring down 1, 2 ka, carry over. Kung mag lang. Kung mag naman. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Ayan, so, dahan mo siya pare, so, so that means, na yung mag-di sa 0, pila ka 1 carry over. Kahit tatlo ka pare, 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, ma-carry over ka, at kung ka 1. And so on. Naman ang iyang, ha, logic. Okay? Now, let's try to apply this. So, since we have 3 consecutive ones, so you get, bring down 1, carry 1. Okay? So, since we have 2 ones here, so, therefore, 0 lang, isa lang ka 1. Okay, 2 man lang. Ka 1. Okay? So, dari, mayara ka, tatlo ka 1. So, 3 ones, so bring down 1, carry 1. Okay? Ara siya, ato niya logic. Next is, uh, 4 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, since nga 4 siya ka 1, so therefore, bring down 0, pila ka 1, 2, 1. 1, 2. So, since we have your 3 ones, you yeah, bring down 1, you carry the 1. Since wala na siya i-process, you just bring down 1. Okay? Now, try to solve. Uh, we will try to uh, convert this to decimal if may equal today. Okay, so, this is 1, this is 2, 4, 8, then you get 16, then you get 30. 2. Isa 16, then this is 32. Okay? Now, crush out those uh, zeros in your value and uh, 8. Okay? Now, we'll try to add uh, 16 plus 32, we get 48. Plus 4, we get 52. Or oh, plus 1, we get 53. So, that's it for the final answer. So, that means our final answer in binary and this one is equal and proven uh, correct and exact. Okay? If you have some questions regarding this, uh, you can ask me uh, on our GC or you can comment below on this video. Okay? So... Next uh, lesson will be the uh, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, and the next is uh, on the week 3. So that is your uh, conversion of all the remaining number system to decimal. Okay? So stay tuned for our next lesson. Okay, thank you.